Alright, let me set you to human. Alright, there you go. Alright. So, uh, what should I start off with? We started uh, off start... with, um, like, quarter circle forwards, quarter circle backs, oh, okay. all that, like, special moves. To be, to be fair, I started with 4H, which technically is a special move. Yeah. So do you want me to start with, like, command normals first and then go to specials, or...? Yeah. Just do whatever okay, you think so... is best here. Well, on the topic of his 6H, right? Uh, it's not a bad move, and it is a really good gap closer, especially on push block. Uh, personally, I don't find the move all that useful because Sonic has other tools to compensate, but it is a really good uh, tool, and I think if you're just starting off, I would re highly recommend this move. Two hits, and it does close the gap as well, and it's safe because you can both cancel from it. Uh, you might have to explain what that is. Yeah, we probably right, should have started so with I'm... that. <laughs> uh, yeah, alright. Um, bold cancel. Uh, it works like Dante's bold cancel in Marvel 3, but with some different properties to it. For one, you can't cancel it on whiff at all. It has to be canceled on block or hit. And essentially, it's done with light and special input at the same time after your normal or quarter circle forward light or quarter circle forward uh, in. The bold cancel basically it has a hitbox when it comes out and it launches the opponent up a bit. It's a really good tool to keep yourself safe as well and it's also highly recommended but it is for more advanced players because when you just started off bold cancel is kind of hard to get used to and when to use it is also hard. Oh, can you actually cancel on block? You can. All right, cool. Uh, can you show that off real quick? Oh no, uh, if you wanted, you could test it out. Oh, okay. So I'll just like start blocking and then... Oh, wait. So you could do that with quarter circle forward and then quarter circle forward medium. Quarter circle forward medium. This? Yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah, there we go. Ooh. Yeah, and I crossed up, so... Crossed up or... Actually, yeah, I did cross up. So essentially... There also is ways to combat bold cancel. When you're first starting off, most people find it impossible to get around against, but when you know how to deal with it, it's not all that hard. Wait, can I change control? Uh, sure. Like, I wonder oh, why. Uh, Norm's gonna see my unconventional controls? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so let's see. Yeah, so you do it off of quarter circle forward and quarter circle forward. Uh, L and M, essentially. And that brings us to the topic of the slide. You're going to be using this move a lot. It is a high risk, high reward move, so only do it if you're guaranteed to get the hit. So essentially, after you do slide, you want to always bolt cancel, because that's how you're going to get a follow up. Or you can cancel slide into any other move that you have in Sonic's arsenal. Wait, can you really cancel into basically anything? Oh, you oh, can't cancel wait, into right, normals. I'm Except for normals in command normals. Sorry. Ah, uh, alright. But any special, I should have uh, clarified that. And supers as well. Alright, that's, that's actually nice. But then again, it is a high risk, high reward, so if, let's say you didn't hit me. Alright. With the slide. Oh, You see, and then you're kind of just stuck there for yeah. a long period of time. It has a lot of end lag on it, which is weird. Yeah. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it and then try to jump after. Like that's how long it took. It's painful, but it is a high so risk, high slow. reward move because uh, you'll be using it a lot, and it's really good for combo extensions. It's a really good low, and it hits from super far away, too. Right. But then if they know you're going to do the slide and they perfectly time the jump, they can just easily punish you. But the hitbox is pretty big enough for uh, it to catch people landing if they don't move, uh, match an attack as well. 
Oh yeah, now uh, that I think about it, uh, I did find something weird earlier that I had to tell you about later. But, uh, continue. So, the quarter circle forward light. The lightning. This is also a really good move in Sonic's kit because it keeps you on your opponent even if they are push blocking. Uh, and you can bolt cancel off of it. Uh, let's see. It's really good on block. I would use it as a, you know, a combo starter for how safe it is, and you can cancel it into special on whip. So if you ever feel like, you know, you're still in the in lag from it, you want to just at least try to cancel it before the last hit comes out, which will catch people off guard. Oh, so you can cancel anywhere in it. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, let's see, the next... I think that's pretty much it for a quarter circle light. In the air, however, I wouldn't recommend doing it unless you're going to cancel it into a stomp or a dive kick. It just works, uh, it's a lot worse in the air and it doesn't have the same properties on the ground. Like if you push block it in the air, it's not all that great. Hmm. Sonic gets stuck in in lag and he just gets put in a bad position. Yeah, that, that is a lot of end lag. Yeah. So if you don't cancel it, you're going to suffer a lot of in-lag. But if you cancel it into dive kick, then, which is a quarter circle forward medium in the air, then you'll be safe. No in-lag at all. Yeesh. But you can make yourself semi-safe by doing uh, a super, a quarter circle forward, super after. Oh, right. but on the topic of bolt cancel, there is a glitch with it where you'll essentially super jump from it. So if you press, Ooh. yeah, so if you press heavy, bold cancel, and then you do a uh, normal right after, which is light, medium, or heavy, then you'll just super jump from it. And it only works on hit. Oh. Huh. So like hold up while you do it, because the game thinks oh. you're still grounded. Yeah, there we yeah. go. That's weird, but it's really cool. It I like really it. Weird. And it's really good too for mix-ups because since you're going really high in the sky, uh, and it only shows the P1 and stuff, you can essentially do bounce super, which hits high low, and once they get reset, they'll have to guess if you're either on the left or the right. And it's really so much a 50-50 on where you go. That is actually really cool. <laughs> but yeah, that's. I think that's pretty much it about uh, bold cancel, from what I know. The next move is the quarter circle forward heavy. Which is the Sonic Wind. I believe that hits low, correct? Uh, yes. Yeah, it was blocking high there. So this move, uh, on hit you could cancel it into an air three. But that's if the Sonic Wind hits. Hmm. Alright. Oh wait, that's the wrong one. Hmm. Actually, I so wonder... Really good for... That could be pretty good. Oh, and I need to get onto that move as well, too. Yeah. We'll, we'll get right, on to cool. air supers, like, later. But for now, we should just stick to the grounded ones. You got it. So yeah, after that hits, you can cancel it in really any air series that you have. Essentially, I would say use Dive Kick, which I'll get on to later. But it's a really good move for what it is now. And the fact that you can cancel it on hit gives Sonic a lot more style to work with. And provides some really cool combos. Uh, next is the spin dashes. So your quarter circle light, quarter circle medium, and lastly your quarter circle heavy. The quarter circle light spin dash uh, does make your opponent spin out, but it's extremely hard to combo off of, and 
it doesn't give all that much damage that quarter circle medium does which provides for an easier follow-up on combos hmm. if anything you want to stay away from quarter circle back light and only use the quarter circle back medium and quarter circle back heavy uh, the quarter circle back heavy essentially provides a wall bounce and after hitting it you could cancel into an air series it's a really good move to use after you one of your air specials or ground specials as you get a free follow up all right that's pretty good um now now i was oh. uh i was looking at it earlier and i noticed all of these have like different like ranges right. like how uh quarter circle back heavy can hit full screen whereas the others can't uh, essentially it's just the charge i would say you know since sonic doesn't really charge the light one he doesn't go that far he charges the medium one a bit and goes farther and since he's charging heavy at the max he goes full screen and spin dashes and slide all hit low so keep that in mind hmm. that's actually Not pretty the nice the charge person uh doesn't hit low but when he actually starts going is when he does hit low hmm. actually does does the uh charge portion have any like special property at all it does uh when someone is grounded it also otgs all right so yeah there's that extra bit of damage and it makes it really good for combo extensions as well and just getting off the free damage hmm, that's actually really useful so if uh, anything uh those are the ground quarter circle forwards and backs you know i'd say you want to use his lightning kicks, his uh, slide, his quarter circle forward heavy, back heavy, and quarter circle back medium uh, spin dash. All really good tools, and I'd recommend you use them, especially if you're starting off. Uh, let's see. The DPs now. So Sonic has two DPs, which is the... Sonic Spin Ball, which you've seen from Smash Ultimate, or Smash in general. And he has the homing attack. Alright, uh, what, uh, what inputs are those? So, it's 623M for the Spin Ball, and then 623H for the homing attack. There's no 623L? There is not. Alright, just making sure. And homing attack hits high, so if you want to turn All right. that off. Oh, wait. I was trying to do DP back. There we go. Uh, it's high, it grants rings, and it's really good for combo follow-ups as well, as there's no end lag after hitting it. Is is it considered a ground bounce? Uh, Yes, but it uh, it's not a forced ground bounce, but it will always ground bounce. I should say that. Oh, all right. So, so would you be able to do like a ground bounce afterward? You cannot do one afterwards, sadly, since it takes up the first one. But uh, you can use something attack to ground bounce them again, if you wanted to. All right. So essentially, you want to try to use up your first ground bounce that you have, and then use homing attack right after. Let's see the Sonic Spin Ball. This move right here is, it's not bad for the damage that it gives off, doing the amount of damage as, as a super, but it's also not a really good reversal option either. Having a small hitbox, you know, Sonic being in a bit more in lag, and you can only combo off of it if they're in the air. And so if you were on the ground, I'd have to spend a bar of meter if I wanted to combo off of you. Alright. But I would recommend the homing attack as it is a really good tool, and it does a really good amount of damage. 
That's weird. I wasn't really inputting anything there, and it was uh, doing stuff. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can. Uh, I was trying to oh, see if you and... could do something off of that. Right, and another fault that the Sonic Spinball has is that you can't, since it takes up a floored, essentially, um, you can't combo off it if you already use your ground bounce. So let's say if I did that, slide, you know, they're going to fall out. And since you're minus, it's a free punish for your opponent. The same goes with homing attack. All right. So, I would say stay away from the mid DP, but if you are above your, or under your opponent, and they're like dashing under you, you could just kind of catch them with it. And oh, that was punch. nice. I guess we go to the air series now? Alright. All right. So yeah, uh, I mentioned this a lot, so I want to get on to dive kick. This is a really good move. It does not use your ground bounces either. So after you do this, right? Let me see. Alright, uh, Dive quarter kick. circle forward medium, right? Yeah. Alright, cool. Essentially, after you dive kick, uh, if I can show it off. I can't do this. <laughs> yeah, I really can't do this. <laughs> That's fine. All right, so die kick's really good for what it's worth. Uh, no in lag, it's safe on block, you know, and it is a combo tool. Or just some. Oh wait, actually, let me do this. Actually, I can't do this in this patch. <laughs> I wait. can't. <laughs> Are you trying to do stuff from other patches? No, it's because uh, with the Super Mecha patch, it really makes uh, Sonic combos a lot harder to do since characters just kind of fall to the ground faster, or they just teleport there, or they just drop a lot faster. Huh. I'll probably just like go back to it, essentially. Let's see. I'll talk about the stop. This move. It's a really good move right here. Um, Quarter doing circle 100... back light? Yes. Stomp is a really good move for crossing up your opponent. And it gives free rings as well, so, and a free follow-up. The downside to Stomp is that it uses up your ground bounce and your spin out. So it's, it really just depends on how you use it and when you want to use it. But it does guarantee a free follow-up if it uh, does hit the man some free reads. Let's see. Now the quarter circle back medium. The Tatsu. This move is a really bad move for a lot of reasons. For one, on hit, there is no follow-up. Uh, that's... Unless... Plus they're in the air, but then at the same time, there's chances where they'll get up before you can follow up anyway. And you'll just be minus it regardless. Hmm. The right. damage the move outputs also is pretty bad for what it's worth. It's 5% scaling per hit and only does 35k each hit. And that so is really will... laggy on the ground. Yeah. So can most you, people like, can cancel just cancel you cannot. You can't cancel it. It's minus. It's really just a commitment move, and if I use it, I'd say use it and immediately cancel into a super. But if anything, try not to use this move. It's not good, and it's not worth the reward for the risk. No follow up unless you super out of it and low damage. I feel so like the there should be like, some kind of use for it. I mean, like I said, you can super cancel out of it. 
And if they aren't blocking, it sends them in front of you regardless. Let's go. But then at the same time, you know, you have to cancel into super if you want to follow up. You can't normally cancel it. And then following up after it is just non-existent. Without spending the meter. Man, if only it wasn't so laggy on landing, it could be really useful. Uh, but in the beginning, actually, it used to be even laggier. That's weird. Yeah, it used to have 50 frames of in-lag, and you couldn't follow up, but now it has 35 frames of in-lag, and there's still no follow-up. <laughs> That's kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> you can't really do anything about it, but like, you know. I mean, yeah. it can bring them to the ground. Oh, and I do want to say the charge of quarter circle forward heavy spin dash does not hit OTG. So that is a downside to point out. Oh, that's really weird. Yeah. Did the quarter circle back one does? Yeah, the quarter circle back heavy and medium, but not the quarter circle forward. And so spinning all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. The drop dash, which is the quarter circle back heavy. Essentially, this is a really good move, and it's going to be your combo ender for almost all of your Sonic combos that you'll end in the air. The first hits, even though they do scale pretty badly, they give a decent amount of damage, and then the last hit gives a really good amount of damage as well. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so essentially you want to use this as your combo enders and just end it off with a super or whatever you want after drop dash. Now, for the quarter circle forward heavy, Sonic went in the air. It's a really good move. It comes out frame one, so... They really catch people. They aren't ready. Ooh. And it does use a ground bounce too. The only downside is the damage, but for what it's worth, it's not a bad move. And there's no end lag after using it, so it's recommended. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I just grab some air. <laughs> yeah, Sonic just needs air every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen, but you know what? It's fine. <laughs> I guess we'll go on to the supers now. To start right. off, we have the first Let's super, go. the Sonic Wind. Super Sonic Wind, sorry. Sonic kicks the wind forward, sending a tornado, dealing damage and does allow for a good follow-up. Let's go! Uh, what input is that? It is quarter circle forward, medium and heavy, or two input buttons. Sorry. All right. Essentially, after you do Sonic Wind, you want to do homing Let's attack, go. which will guarantee a free follow-up. Oh, that was drop dash. Uh, which one's homing attack again? <laughs> the DP heavy? Oh, DP heavy. Alright. I was I was not thinking about DP. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> oh, I did that way too late. Let's go! Let's see if I can but do you can it. do it on the ground, so there's no worry. Oh, wait, you could... Yeah, you could oh, do it on the ground. Oh, okay. Well, that's Let's that's go! my problem. <laughs> And that's also my problem. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I will do this eventually. There it is. And yeah, so after you hit it, once you land on the ground, you can follow up with a slide and continue the combo. Ah, follow up with slide. All right. Let's go. Oh. I kind of just followed up into a different super. <laughs> Perfect segue. Uh, 
<laughs> Definitely <laughs> intentional. <laughs> 100% intentional. Uh, let's see. We have the ground super, which is the spin dash. The super spin dash. It's really good. Does 300k damage. Does not provide for a free follow-up without supering again. But you will most likely use it for combo ender. All right. Or if you want to spend another bar, you can uh, follow up after it. I want to see if I can do something. Oh, that was the wrong thing, but you know what? It's fine. <laughs> oh, that's quarter circle back is what I want to do, probably. Yeah. There it is. So yeah, it's a really good move. I'd recommend it a lot. Especially if it combo ender and for punishing people on wake up since the move does have armor. Hmm. So if you want we can chill that off. If you do your super as well as mine. Alright, I'll Let's I'll do this go. one. Uh bad example. Um <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, as you can see, if I... Alright, so... Let me do this one instead. Uh. Let's go! That should work better. Went right through it that time. Or do the, the spin dash super? This one? Yeah. Oh! They see? clash, right. but it did damage. Right, but the since the super has armor, uh, Sonic doesn't get taken out of it. Ah, all right. So, like, let's say, all right, let's move on to the topic of his level three now, and then I'll go to the spin uh, homing attack super after. His level right. three, the DP back motion, two inputs, you know, maximum hedgehog. And it resets you back to neutral. Uh, right. The level 3 isn't really the greatest due to its damage, but since the damage is unscaled, it is a really good combo ender as well. But the problem with this level 3 that most level 3s have is it doesn't really have any special properties and it loses to everything. Let's go! Let's go! Even loses to itself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, like, let's say if you did Sonic Wind. Alright, uh, this let's one? Go! Yeah. Let's go! Oh, wow. Yeah. And I think Actually, can we do that again three? real quick? Yeah. Uh, it should be... Wait, that's the wrong one. I, uh, no. Please tell me that... Yeah, so... Oh, wow, that, that really is bad, Let's but this is go. what I wanted to do. Let's go. This is what I wanted to Let's try. Go. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> if I delayed it, I might have been able to do it. Alright, hold on, let me let me try my level 3, and then, like, use Sonic Wind. See if you can follow it up. Okay, if I do ahead. it, uh... No, I'm, I'm gonna try to time it. Alright. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Ah, uh, I was early. But yeah, that level 3 loses to everything. It's not anti-projectile, there's no armor, no invincibility. And Everything will most likely beat it out, and sometimes you can even jab Sonic out of it if you time it correctly. Wow, you can just jab and it'll work. Yes, because I figured, like, the, the hitbox... activation would work. The hitbox for the move is really close to Sonic's body, so... Let's go! Oh yeah, that is surprisingly close. What? <laughs> huh. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I, t I don't even know what to say about that. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Alright, that time yeah. it won, but like... What? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's, that's a perfect segue right there. 
<laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> oh wait, I turned off input display. There we go. Alright, so the DP super. Essentially this move is, I think it's frame 1 or 3, but it's really fast and it does catch out a lot of things, so... Let's say I did this super and you did the DP Let's forward go! motion. It would essentially cancel it out. Oh, or sometimes okay. you'll get hit, but it's kind of. Alright. Let's go. Let's go. Oh wait, no, that's not DP. Wait. Uh, well, I okay. found an easy way to do it. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> we weren't supposed to be on this still, you know? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll edit that part out, too. <laughs> All uh, right. <laughs> but yeah, you can essentially do your DP super three times if you press any button, essentially. All right. Yeah, so heavy, medium, light, or special will constantly do it. And if you wait it out, you can wait it out a little, then you can follow up with a different super. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so quarter circle back, quarter circle forward. And essentially at times when they fall to the ground, you can even do a level three. I almost did it there. And by hitting someone with this just like raw, it does provide a lot of damage. Yeah, that's an insane amount of damage right there. But, I mean, it is essentially a level 3 because every time you'd use it, it takes another bar. Yeah, and it does more than its own level 3, so... Yeah. Raw. But you can cancel out of it with bounce or close circle forward, any super uh, actually. I mean, and it's a really good tool as well, since it's about frame one. I'd say catching people for punishes, people who run away, you know, Sonic goes to the air a bit. Let's go. He just dashes at them farther than homing attack. <laughs> uh and I think that's it. Oh no, I didn't go over bounce and air sonic wind. Alright, so All right. bounce. It is, this is a really good super, in my opinion. Doing almost 400k damage, hitting high, low, high, I mean, high, low, mid, sorry. So the first portion is a high hit, the second portion is a low, and then the last portion hits mid. And it does guarantee a free follow up, depending on if you use your ground bounce or not, and then the distance from them to the ground. So if I were to use JS, right, All right, and I did bounce after, then I'd have to make sure they're not too close to the ground or else they'll just roll and reset back to neutral. But you are safe after you do bounce. Essentially, Let's if you do go. bounce, oh, I or let's say up. you use a dash and you use bounce again, you'll get your dash back. And it is quarter circle back heavy. Uh, and two input buttons. Oh. Now I'm kind of interested. Can I do that? Can't. Well, that was cool. Oh, but I do want to show you something interesting with bounce. So if you. Hit me with it. Alright. The opponent can burst midway through the the super. Wow. Which is a bug that should have been fixed, but was not due to some issues. Um, but yeah, they can burst through it, and also you can too, but your opponent has more variety over bursting into the super. Variety? <laughs> I can't speak today. <laughs> Priority? Anyways, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so basically, they have the upper hand of bursting first than you do. Alright, um, now Aerial Sonic Wind? 
Yes. This move, it hits high. Uh, it keeps them standing still if they're on the ground or if they're and it hits OTP. Ooh, that that's that's a disgusting mix up right there. <laughs> Is that just so, a free mix up or can you like block it low and then block high again? You it's really hard. I mean CPUs can do it, but I don't think any players will do it. So but it's basically like a free combo. Yes. Off of one bar. Or no two, because most people will just push block and so Let's after you go. do air sonic win and you get to the ground. You want to do a super spin dash super. Hmm. All right. But air sonic win is really good too, especially for the pressure. But if you do whiff it, it leaves you in in lag. That was the wrong so. super. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! Yeah, but it leaves you an in lag until you get to the ground. So there's that as well. All right. So just be careful when you're using it and use it wisely. Anything else it, we need to go over here? Um, let me see. Supersonic wins really good for combo extensions as well. And I want to say Sonic is the only character in the game that I know of right now who can get their burst back but when their opponent uh, is locked out of there. If he has full meter. All right. Uh, one more thing that I think we should go over is this. You want to do the supers? Of course. Uh oh, that's the wrong one. I mean, it wouldn't be a Sonic guide if we didn't go over everything about this character, you know? Yeah, you're right. Alright, so we have the super forms, or essentially Super Sonic. Uh, I do not want to go over normals. I will just go only specials, though, because. Oh, they're pretty standard. I probably should push block that so I can actually do something. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Anyways, you have a quarter circle back light, a quarter circle back heavy, quarter circle back medium, and a quarter circle back special. Right, light one launches them upwards. I'm sorry, the light one watches the uh, watches Sonic down downward, and it grants free ring off of the ground bounce. All right. The medium one launches them back at the wall. The charge portion does damage to your opponent, and the quarter circle back heavy launches them upward. Your quarter circle back S is Sonic's teleport. Oh no. Ah uh, yes. The spin dash ladder. <laughs> All right, and it uh, always looks like Sonic in front of him. Yeah. This. And just know by doing this, you are fully invincible. Unless I mess up the timing. Right. But essentially, uh, by doing quarter circle back S, right, you could literally just dodge everything that characters do. If you time it correctly. Which I did not, obviously. <laughs> oh, please work. Yeah, see, so completely didn't get hit by that time perfectly. And uh, it's a really good move on Super Sonic, even after you do the first circle back heavy, because it will create easy follow-ups for loops. Lots of damage, and it builds up a lot of meters, so you can get to level 3 and end the match. Uh, his supers. There's the quarter circle back LMH, I'm not sure which that one is. This one? Okay, so that's a supersonic dash. I'd say. I'm probably pronouncing the name wrong. It is a really good move. Uh, let me see. It's not something that I use a lot, essentially. And then, let me see, does it hit low? Supersonic dash? No, it, it's uh, high also, so 
You're blocking low, you're gonna get hit by it. Alright. He also has a DP forward. DP forward. Which is his level 3. Does a lot of damage and it will most likely kill your opponent once you get it. Hit OTG. And then there is one more super, which is the quarter circle back. Quarter circle back? Wait, this was quarter circle back. Oh, I mean forward, sorry. <laughs> Alright. Oh. Alright, um... We should also talk about that. Like, the activation of it. Because it also has a move. Um, one thing about so, it is uh, unblockable, right? Yeah, it's unblockable. So it can't block it. You're going to get hit by it and provide Sonic with a free combo. So after you do it, you want to do 5S. Alright. And that's essentially your BNB for Super Sonic. I mean, and you can also do some cool stuff like this. Can. Yeah, he has uh, quarter circle forwards in this as well. Which are just like moves that you can combo into each other. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's it for Sonic, so. You want to stay away from his mid DP and his Tatsu, due to them being bad moves. But if you do end up using the DP, it does catch airborne opponents that are just getting the drop on you from above. Let's go! Oh, and another thing too, since your Sonic win, your Super Sonic win in the air counts as a hit, you can freely cancel out a move if uh, you end up putting yourself in a dangerous situation. Which is slide in the mid DP, slide in the spin dash, first circle light into bolt cancel. Oh, so if you want to try. So you mean like I could just bolt cancel from anywhere? Yeah. Ooh, that's actually really yeah. cool, and I never knew you could do that. Yeah. Because <laughs> the game thinks that you're hitting them still, even though you aren't physically. But uh, something else is, so... It's close enough. Yeah. <laughs> you know, fair and balanced gameplay. Exactly. <laughs> that's actually really awesome. So cool. Let's go! No. What? <laughs> I just dashed backwards and then dashed forwards. Oh. You tricked me. <laughs> no. Uh oh. Who wins? <laughs> so yeah, using a dash, going in the bounce, you get your dash back. Let's go! So yeah, I think that's pretty much it with Sonic, unless you want me to show some combos as well. Uh, sure. Show show a couple basic combos. That, like, anyone could pull off after picking up the character and, like, learning the moveset. Uh, so I'll probably stay away from Bold Cancel. Um, or actually, no, because... Utilizing bulk cancel does take a while to get used to. I mean, some players it's easier than others, but for most who don't uh, pick up a fighting game right away or don't know what to do, 
you know, I'd say just kind of lie about what you can do. If you want, uh, you can make like the first one or two combos that you do, like bold cancel free, and then like start going into other ones that you can do with it. Shoot, I don't even know bold cancel. <laughs> uh, so yeah, like I said, um, I did say to stay away from these two moves, but if you're just starting off, I'd say just utilize them for now, since it will give you a lot of free things to do. Or if you don't want to utilize those moves, you can launch them again, go into a bounce. Like, there's a lot that Sonic can and can't do, but overall, he's a really good character to learn, and he's a lot of fun as well to play. And I think that's... Oh, and for Bold Cancel, too, so... With yeah. Bold Cancel, you want to essentially try to follow up with a medium or heavy. Most people, you can experiment with other moves, but this is provided to be the easiest. You know, and then once you get used to the character, you'll know when you can and can't both cancel. Oh, and I probably can't show this off finally. Uh, that. Yeah, so that doesn't uh, take up your ground bounce or doesn't reset them like if I did. Uh, Sonic Spin Ball. As you saw with Dive Kick. So, I think that's pretty much it, but as you said. Alright. It's just basic. And also, uh. Let me see. With Stomp, you want to try to use it as a mix-up, and if you know you're going to hit them or be unsafe, you can always cancel it with a Spin Dash or a Bounce Super on the first hit. Let's go. Wait, can you not cancel into Sonic Win? Let's go. You can. Alright. Let's go! Yeah, but there there's a lot that you can do. It's just being creative with your stuff. Ah, I keep jump canceling it. Oh, and Sonic does have two mediums in the air, so. Two mediums? Yeah. So like you could launch me and see how they work. I didn't talk about those, about that, uh, because, you know, you're not really gonna use it a lot, and it does make you drop combos a lot more often. I guess I'll showcase some tech too, so, like I said with this, um, let's see, after let's Sonic go. win, you want to do a homing attack? For a free follow up. Let's go. Free Sonic loop. Oh, okay. There's that. Alright, but then. What else is there? Slide bolt cancel, and then you want to do heavy. So you can get a follow up on the ground. Or you can do medium into heavy. But it's essentially about being fast when you do the medium and heavy, and you can only do it either once or twice after both cancel. Uh, let's see. Uh, if you want to come out a bit more, and then sure. like, block. 
as well. All right. Do you want me to just block low or any? No, just block in general. All right. So essentially, as you can see right there, you know, I went over him and I didn't hit him. And right there, if he wanted to, you could punish me because I don't have any moves to do. Alright. I'm not very good at Sonic combos yet, but you know. <laughs> yeah, but you, you get the gist, you know. Yeah. So Sonic does end up bolt canceling, and he doesn't do anything, he can punish you. Or if he wants to, he can just wait and do that early or late. But if you do push block him, he will be safe, and most Sonics will just go into a dive kick or a slide. Ah, so it's a high-low mix-up. Right. It's a high-low mix-up or a low-high, a low cross-up. really just depends on what the character wants to do. Let's go. And then on the topic of this move that I showed up earlier where you just do a move into the bull cancel and you do that. Alright. I think it's special. Yeah, so when you do special, if you're fast enough, you can make your air series come out faster after you bolt cancel. So essentially you can't do it instantly, but you could do something like that, or you can just make the that come out faster. Alright. But it's not recommended because it's it does hurt your fingers. And it's really advanced, but it, it's it's an option. Let's see. Tatsu in the bounce is good. So I'm not a fan of this move, but when you're starting off, I'd say utilize this. You know, and it does put your opponent in front of you if you do hit them and they're not blocked. Alright. I think that's pretty much it. 